Greetings, it is Maxo Diddley here, and today I am here with another Visual Basic tutorial to you get an A in your coursework or exam. And today we're here with validating a date using Visual Basic. So this tutorial is going to be really quick, really simple, because it's really easy to validate a date using Visual Basic. So let's so let's get right into it. Firstly, we've got a boolean here called is valid date. And underneath, we've got a string called user input. Is valid state is going to store whether or not our date is valid or not, so a true or a false. And user input is going to be the string that represents what the user's input in, or what the date we want to validate is in a string format. And we've got the 29th of February 2024 to be the first string we test. This is a leap year because I want to demonstrate that this method does work with leap years. So what you want to do is you want to do is valid date, which is the boolean we created here, equals is state user input, and we're calling a function that uh, that's with Visual Basic, and what we do is it accepts a string and then it returns a true or false. It basically does a check on the string we input to check if it actually is a valid state or not. In the eyes of Windows, the range of valid dates is January the 1st of, of 100 AD through to December 31st, 9999 AD. After that, we do console.writeLine is valid date. This is going to print out the result of our date validation. And that's basically it. This is a super short tutorial, but let's hit play and see what happens. And it says true because, you know, the 29th of February 2024 is a valid date. But what if we make it 2023, which isn't a leap year? It's false because that's not a valid date. Uh, let's just do the 10th of September... 2000 and then hit play and it it prints a true because that's a valid state so that's kind of it for this tutorial but i would like to demonstrate some more data more date formats that could work with this so if you were to put in a month then a then a date as in a number of that month like the 28th and then put a year, that could also be valid. So that's another way of putting in a date. Also, if you don't like slashes, what you could do is replace them with dots. Also, if you don't want to put 2014, you can actually just put 14 down. So this is the 28th of April, 2014. So let's hit play. That's a valid date. But let's say you like having the full year in your date, we can do that still. And one last thing before we go, this is going to use what's considered a valid date for your time zone. So if your Windows is set up to be in the UK and use a UK clock, UK, UK dates time format, an American date time format wouldn't work. For instance, if we were to put uh, 0428 this would be false. But if, let's say, you're in America, this will be true, but then the UK format would be false. The same can apply for any country and how you have your dates formatted. Just so I mentioned that. Anyway, thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like in the comment if you enjoyed, and be sure to subscribe for more Visual Basic tutorials. Hope you have a great day. Thanks for being a great audience.